what's going on sliders today we are prepping to pull the transmission on the abarth and if you're asking yourself why am i pulling the transmission it's not because the transmission is bad but it's because the crankshaft position tone ring has cracked and that's the only way to get to it also the um one of the symptoms of this issue is the dreaded p0339 code which is the crankshaft position intermittent code so pretty much what happens is while the engine is rotating that tone ring has either it's either cracked or may have a piece of it missing and so the crankshaft position sensor doesn't know um where top dead center is so your time so your timing um could be your ignition timing could be thrown off because of that. And so then the car automatically puts itself in a limp mode state and also causes a, um, a very long crank, almost like a weak startup. Uh, almost sounds like you are running out of fuel. And, um, but if you uh, hold the ignition and it turns on and then you'll notice that you're limited to 3000 RPM and no boost so yeah guys this problem is pretty unforeseeable i was just honestly going for a spin in the car after i had refixed some boost leaks um and the car was pulling super hard um broke traction i was uh the front wheels were spinning and i believe that the just this, the vibration from the wheels spinning um must have loosened up that um uh, a piece of the tone ring that was uh, probably on its way out so yeah guys if you guys are experiencing these issues probably gonna have to pull your transmission um do your rear main seal and replace the tone ring so yeah that's what i'm doing this is actually the first time this car has given me any issues it has about fifty-six thousand miles on the clock and other than that, it's been running great. Nothing out of the ordinary, just, um, you know, spark plugs and oil changes. Um, never had a coolant leak. Uh, water pump hasn't gone on me. Still original water pump. Turbo is original turbo. And um, yeah, this car is full bolt-ons besides the turbo, is tar turbo is stock. And um, this car has been very good to us. Um, until that day that this happened. So it is what it is. Got to do what we got to do. And um, yeah, we love this car. This car is very reliable. It's very fuel efficient. So I'm definitely not going to just get rid of it, especially if I know that I'm capable of doing the job. It's a little, um, it's a little crowded in here, pretty tight, but we'll get it. Battery's out, tray's about to come out seems like um, it's just connected to these two connectors here so I'm gonna pull it out of the way and then see how much space we have to work with all right guys so I got a little ahead of myself I loosen up the downpipe to give me access to those um, bell housing bolts the uh, the two bolts that connect to the exhaust are seized so I'm just gonna have to deal with that um, I loosen up this mount. This is the direct mount that goes to the transmission. So uh, I started loosening it. I noticed that it started dropping the transmission. So I just left it halfway in until I get everything ready and loose. Um, I have to remove the intake piping. And can you believe that the intake piping sits like right over the transmission? It's kind of crazy. I plan on removing this to drop the transmission down because I'm not gonna pull the motor and the transmission out. I'm also not gonna remove the front clip. So I got some PB blaster on those. So that way this piece comes off and then we'll be able to bring the transmission down from here. All right guys, so we made a lot of progress. I've uh, got every connector disconnected on top of the transmission, as you guys can see. I have pulled the axle on this side, it's loose, and I have disconnected this ground wire here, I disconnected the heater, 
line off of the transmission so it can go down nice and easy um i also if you notice i disconnected that that member that cross member that goes there and i also discovered that i was missing a bolt so i'm glad i've caught that all right guys so passenger side axle is out it was a little tricky i had to hit that little center this little bearing here i had to hit it with some um pb blaster to get it to break loose and then i just smacked it out with the hammer um this side was way more difficult as you can tell i had to take it off the uh off the hub the other side is still on without an issue it pulls straight out um i've also released all the bell housing bolts all the way around as well as you guys can see i also removed the starter which wasn't too bad um, the only thing is that there is a hidden bolt on the top. I'll show you guys. Right there. Right there, there's like a rubber grommet that goes there. You have to pry it off and then there's a 13 millimeter bolt um, behind there. Um, I removed these top uh, the housing bolts. I have removed the transmission cooler lines separated everything i'm gonna put a jack under the transmission now and then release the uh, motor mounts and hopefully i should just be able to wiggle and diggle it out so yeah see how it goes hopefully i don't crush myself shouldn't be too heavy um i have to uh probably move this axle off to the side it's out but it's still in the way and yeah Let's see how that goes. All right guys, so I've got the transmission separated and I almost forgot to loosen up the torque converter through this uh, little axis hole right here. You might not see a bolt initially, but you gotta put a flathead on those, uh, on those teeth to move it, um, to move it down. For example, I just grab the flathead and I'm just pushing on the teeth. I uh, I put the uh, transmission in neutral through the gear selector up there with my hand. And yeah, should be maybe like four or five of these bolts. And then um, that'll give us enough space to pull the transmission off because um, you really don't have enough space to clear it over the torque converter. So you're gonna just take the converter with you. So yeah, here is the culprit. This is the tone ring, or I'll, I'll drop down the part number and a picture of the new one. And I didn't have to drop the transmission all the way to down to the ground. I was able to access it without um, taking it all, all, all the way out. It's kind of being a pain in the butt. It was getting stuck here. So I decided to just leave it there and um, the rear main seal while I'm here and then put everything back together a $60 part all right so the parts finally arrived this is the bad one with all the cracks and the missing piece there and here is a brand new one you can tell no cracks all in one piece That is your that is your crankshaft intermittent code right there. That. So I also have the rear main seal back here. And so yeah guys, I'm gonna throw this on and put this all back together. Alright guys, so car is finally back together. This project definitely took longer than expected. It took me about um, a week and a half. Um, then again, I did also change a lot of other things while I was in there. I did motor mounts. Um, I uh, did some, some preventive maintenance. I also ordered a new 
subframe brace because my other one was bent and it wasn't going back up. Um, so yeah, it took me that long because I was waiting for parts to come in. But I'm really happy with everything because I got to fix some boost leaks. I found some cracked vacuum lines. Um, so yeah, uh, initially at startup, I had uh, all the lights on the dash. It was kind of crazy. I had the transmission light on, the EC ESC light on. Um, I wasn't seeing my my coolant temperature and it was all because I forgot to plug in my coolant temperature sensor. And after I plugged that in, put it all back together, everything is great. So yeah guys, this definitely solved the problems. I can rev it all the way out through the RPMs. I took it for a little test drive and it feels great. I'm gonna get this thing a wash now. And uh, yeah, enjoy it a little bit. Sure is a beautiful thing not to have any engine lines. Hopefully I don't jinx it, but I'm pretty sure everything is great. Oh man, I've still got that annoying seatbelt. Unfortunately guys, there is no solution for that one. Well, I hope this video helped you guys get through these troubling times. And subscribe, comment, and I'll see you on the next one, guys.